Hello my amazing sexy mofos, this is your boy Venomy here, I really do hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far. In today's video I am doing another Forza Horizon 5 Dragon Tune video for every single one of you. The car that we are going to be throwing around today is the Subaru BRZ, but before we start, if you are new around here and like what you see, then please do subscribe to join this amazing sexy family. But now let's jump straight into this. Okay, I'm just going to quickly run you through the upgrades. For the engine swap, you want to put in the racing 3 liter L6T engine. And of course, for the drivetrain, we are going to keep it rear wheel drive today. I might try to do a tune as an all wheel drive, but for this video, it's going to be rear. Now for tires and rims, as always, drag tire compound. And you want to make the rear tire width as big as possible, 295s on this car. If you can as well, also go with a lighter rim set. Trust me, knocking off a couple of kilos off the car will improve your times. Now, for the engine parts, from turbo all the way to fuel, exhaust, everything, whatever's on there. You want to put everything on to race. You want to max all of the engine parts out. For platform and handling, race you want to put on race brakes springs off-road springs front and rear anti-roll bars don't worry about a roll cage it adds way too much weight and of course the weight uh, weight reduction kit and you want to put that on race just to knock off as much kilos as possible to make the car as light as physically possible um, for the last part drivetrain race clutch race transmission uh, race differential and race driveline then you are good to go this car is super super fast I will say it has a tendency to lock up a little bit in first gear I did try launching it in second gear just to compensate but the speed loss is too much so you have to launch this car in first gear so for the tuning Pause the video every time I change category and just note everything down, write it all down, copy it all down. Um, I will say I do adjust the final drive here and there. Sometimes I'll have it at 3, sometimes 275, um, sometimes 280. I do fiddle with the final drive quite a little bit for certain cars like this. But just copy every single one of this, all the upgrade parts down, all the tuning, dampers, aero, all the way to differential, just write it all down. The share code is after this part, so you could skip all of this, just forward the video. The share code is going to be coming up in about 20 seconds, and then you are good to go. Some drivers like to tune, tune everything and obviously adjust the tune to their liking because everyone drives cars differently some people might want to tweak it so they can handle it better and maybe even make the tune actually better so obviously go into this with a mindset as this is a bass tune and then work with it just try tweak it adjust it and see if you can make it a little bit better but here's me just heating up my tires because I'm not gonna lie I was having a lot of problems in the beginning first gear all the way up to 80 miles an hour it is just non-stop wheel spin if you're doing this with cold tires I could not get any traction at all I was just spinning out all over the place I'd say I got about to the first set of lights the big spotlights on the left and on the right um, I got about there where my cars are going to the left there um, I did a full 360 and just spun out it was about to happen again here so I hit rewind I decided to try it again I'm not gonna lie I'm not disappointed with this car whatsoever I remember doing this car back all the way on Forza Horizon 2 or Forza Horizon 3 um, I absolutely loved it I, I enjoy this car on every single Forza Horizon that comes out it's always a super super fast car but let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below do you like this sort of car do you not um, but definitely try make it better I will experiment with an all-wheel drive tune uh, going up and down though you're gonna be hitting anywhere from I'd say anywhere from 210 all the way to 220 230 it can go higher if you hit the drag strip was longer it could hit way speeds way higher than it can 
Um, I will say if you do choke the beginning and you're just non-stop wheel spinning all the way to like first or second gear, I will say that will greatly affect your lap time. You'll be hitting about 190, 200. It definitely affects. Like you can see here, the car's just fighting with me non-stop. I'm trying to straighten it out. We're doing 180 miles an hour here and it's just stuck in a non-stop wheel spin. That was... It reminded me of the infamous BMW wheel spin where literally all the way up to 6 gear I'm just wheel spinning all the way there. But regardless of that, if you can heat the tires up and get it to actually get traction, this is a super powerful car. Just do not do it with cold tires. Um, it's also another recommendation, do a rolling start. You'll find you have less wheel spin and you'll be able to dominate them because the car will actually get traction so it can put its power down. But I'm going to wrap this video up here. I really do hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far. But I love every single one of you. Thank you all for the love and support recently. These Forza videos are blowing up. Uh, same with Fallout to be quite honest. But I hope you all have an, an amazing day. I hope you all enjoyed your weekend. But I'm going to wrap this one up here. I love every single one of you. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.